taking place in London on March 29th and 30th at Excel. Um, so JP, it'd be great if you could just tell our viewers what you're going to be speaking about at the convention. So first of all, it's great to not only be speaking at the convention, but it's great to be back. <laughs> yeah. I spoke for the Swell Wellness Convention about four years ago at, I believe it was at one of your Dubai events. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's great to be back. So much has happened, as you know, Amanda, and I'm looking forward to sharing my story of 2019, having to reinvent myself, but specifically talk about personal leadership. So yeah. there's organizational leadership and there's personal leadership. Most leadership coaching and leadership trainers talk about the former. Yeah, definitely. How to lead in an organization. What I found, Amanda, is in 15 years of doing what I do, that what makes the greatest leaders the greatest leaders is their ability to lead themselves. Yeah. Because great leaders are great influencers. Mm -hmm. And if you're a great leader and a great influencer, you have an ability to inspire. Mm -hmm. Inspire life and inspiration into others, into your team, into your community. So a question I get asked a lot is, how do I inspire my team? Yeah, so just out my mouth. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's simple be more inspiring. Mm. So what I'm going to speak about is self-mastery, personal leadership, and how to be the best leader that you can be, particularly in three areas, mm -hmm. so that you can naturally, as a knock-on effect, be more inspirational and influential to your team, your community, your clients. And especially for people who maybe lack the confidence a little bit or feel a bit anxious about mm. you know, being a bit of a stronger leader, what would be your advice to them? Could you say the question again? Um, just for people, I guess, with being a good leader who can inspire, you need to have a lot of confidence um, in yourself. What would be your advice for people who maybe aren't as self-assured or who feel that they lack that confidence a little bit? So actually, the three areas that I mentioned to be the best leader, to personally lead yourself, to be on a continuous journey of self-mastery so you can be your best okay. and to be the best leader. The first of the three pillars is mental mastery. Mm. I call it being the, your life's CEO. You know, either you're your own life's employee, meaning your life is in control of you. Yeah. You're in control of your life and you're your own life's CEO. And the life CEO or CEO stands for certainty, energy, and obsession. Mm. If someone has great certainty, they're going to be a great leader. Yeah. If they have great energy, the same. If they have great obsession or passion for what they do, mm. that too helps. So let's start on the first pillar. It's not a coincidence that it is first because the first place you need to look at at being better and being a greater leader is your certainty. Mm. So whatever happens in the mind follows in your reality. Whatever you create through your thoughts mm -hmm. etc., is what you, what you create on your external world. So external world. So just very quickly, mm -hmm. the first thing that people need to look at when looking at their certainty is holding themselves responsible for everything. Everything that is and everything that isn't. Because what some people do is they say, oh, I don't feel that certain or don't feel that confident because mm -hmm. this happened or I failed over here or I don't, ha you know, I don't have the experience to go be a great leader. First of all, accept that. It is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. I, I saw this on a t-shirt the other day. It is what it is. It's one of my yeah. favorite things. Mm. If it is what it is, don't make it bigger than it is. Right, yeah. So hold yourself responsible for what is and what isn't, and then start moving into mastery. Second thing in mastery is surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with other leaders. It's very difficult to thrive in a business environment if you're not around leaders. Yeah. There's three. One of my friends, Andy Harrington, says you've got to be surrounding yourself with three types of people. People below you that you can teach and inspire. Right, yeah. People the same as you that you can have fun with because what's the point if you're not having fun in life? And then yeah. people above you that you can learn from and be inspired by and get energy from. A lot of people don't have that third level. Yeah, I was going to say normally it's the bottom two, isn't it really? Exactly. Especially if you look at the spa and wellness event that I'm going to be speaking at, it's right, managers, mm. directors, maybe even owners. Yeah. So a lot of the time they have the same and below. Yeah. And a bad thing but there is an element missing and that's why coaching mentoring masterminding networking is so important mm -hmm. because 
one of my quotes and one of my favorites for my students is it's easy to win when you're surrounded by winners. It just is. Mm, that's true. It's very difficult to be in your own way. Mm. You're in a group of 10 people and the other nine people are out of their way. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, one of my, uh, one of my former mentors, Tony Robbins says, proximity is power. Who we spend time with is who we become. Mm. So the short answer for your question is if you lack certainty, the first place I would look is at your environment. Right. Who are you spending time with? Mm. Because you, if you can get around people that have higher levels of certainty than you, because mm. in, everything in the world is energy, eventually it will just rub off on you. Yeah. It's it true. really will. You know, there's certain people that you spend time with and when you leave, you think, I feel amazing. Excuse my language, but <laughs> I feel amazing. Or, I feel inspired. Or all of a sudden I, I realize that my goals are too small. I'm mm. thinking too small. It's just because of the power of that energy that, and the influence from others. So it's completely changing your mindset and also changing who you surround yourself with and what your environment's like. Your environment, your mindset, the level of responsibility that you have, personal responsibility. Because if you're playing the blame game on any level, you can't, you can't work 100% on yourself. You have to own up to everything. Everything that is and everything that isn't. Yeah. What and there's meaning, positive meaning from everything that you go through. And then there's focus. Focus is a, another 20 minute conversation. I mean, is that kind of the core takeaway that you want people to get at your talk? Is that really these are the steps you need to take in your business to implement change? And naturally that change will follow. Yeah. So if we chunk it down from the greatest outcome for everyone that's attending my talk, mm -hmm. it's leadership. Yeah. To be a greater leader and a greater influencer creating greater ripples in your business, whether that's cash, influence, uh, inspiration. Now, if we chunk that down, leadership, it's okay, let's, let's, we're going to work inwards. It's personal leadership. Mm -hmm. How can I be a greater leader by personally leading myself in a better direction? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to chunk that down again. If I'm to lead myself personally in the better direction, what do I need to focus on? Self-mastery. Yeah. And then what we're going to cover in the talk because of a limited time is we're gonna cover one of three areas of self-mastery, the most important one, and the first of the three pillars, and that's mental mastery. Mm -hmm. You get your head right and everything will follow. But if you don't get your mental state, your emotional state right, it's very difficult to master yourself, your leadership, your business. Sounds really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, as somebody who is a leader yourself, you know, was there any advice that you wish somebody had given you when you started out in the industry um, about how you could have got to where you are now, basically? Mm. Absolutely. And this is getting a bit uh, fluffy and a bit kind of on the hard mastery side, but I can only give this answer to this question. Part of mental mastery, and the, the, the third pillar is meaning. Mm. Creating, changing the meaning and the perception of things that you're going through. When I was younger, I wish I had a mentor and a coach or an inspirational speaker say to me, be more loving and kind to yourself. Mm. Because what we do is, you said I'm a leader, what we do as leaders is we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to say, I should be here, my business should be there, Mm. Well, everyone should be working at this level. Well, I should have achieved this by now. And what happens is we rob ourselves of the present moment. Mm. So I don't want to get too woo-woo, but what's the point of having an extraordinary business if there's no joy in our business? Mm. I think what, that's so true. I think a lot of people fail to sort of live in the presence and just to take in what they've achieved already. Everybody's always looking, aren't they, for the next thing, the next step up and we are living in such a fast paced world now. And I think um, everyone's striving to succeed, aren't they? So yeah. I think it's definitely nice having this idea of stepping back, taking a look at what you've achieved and changing your mindset a little bit. Absolutely. If you look at everyone watching this video has, has leaders or a leader that, mm. that, that inspires them or that they inspire to be like everyone, even you, there's people in your life that you aspire to be like, or they inspire you. 100% the ingredient that the one ingredient, I'm sure there's more, but the one ingredient all of those leaders have in common is a state of joy. Mm. Because why would you be inspired by a leader that's not enjoying what they're doing? Yeah. 
Now, if you look outside a business, right, outside a business, but if you look at the highest level of leadership in the world, one of my greatest heroes, the late president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison, but he created joy in where he was. Once again, to come back to self-mastery and mental mastery, he chose to create a positive meaning from everything that he was going through. He didn't say, I'm in prison. He said, I'm preparing. Yeah. He went to prison because he believed the country needs to be changed. Mm. And he never gave up on that. He never gave up on his intention and his goals. But he thought, whilst I'm in prison, what happens if I do get out? Mm. If I do get out, who's going to lead this country? Well, I'm, I better start preparing. Mm. So every day became, this is another opportunity for me. I'm in a cell. You know, I have, you know, other than doing a bit of work in the yard, etc. this is my university. Yeah. So he find joy even in being in prison. Yeah. And I think that's one ingredient that makes a great leader. Yeah. Because by doing that, you also inspire others. Yeah. Every business or organization, if they have a, an inspirational, joyful heart leader at the top end of their business, that energy will trickle down through the organization. I think it's really interesting, JP, and I think it's going to be a really great talk at WSW. I'm going to make sure I come along as well. Just for anybody who's watching, like I said, JP will be at the World Spa and Wellness Convention happening in London on the 29th, 30th of March. Um, you can find out the tickets and a bit more about the program and everything that's going on at the World Spa and Wellness website. Otherwise, I think that's everything from our end and you can see JP there as well. Thank you so much again, JP. It's really great having you on our Facebook. I can't wait to see you in just under three months and for everyone attending, make sure you get there early because I'll have some gifts for everyone. Limited <laughs> gifts, but I'll have some gifts for everyone. Thank you so much, JP. Really appreciate it. Cheers, Amanda. Thanks for having me and see you soon. See you soon. See you in March. Bye. Bye-bye.